All right, well, today is Monday, and we're going to be doing a little bit of work with this little push mower. I don't even know if it runs or not. I ain't even going to attempt it. I'm just going to go for it. Frigate, do her up. The tune if I'm about to do in this lawnmower is probably worth more than a lawnmower. <laughs> Find it kind of funny, don't you? But anyway, so yeah, today is Monday. I think I already said that. We already skipped over that. Whoops. Uh, I've been working for the past... About a half hour, 45 minutes on the scrambler. I wasn't going to do any work on it, but I was like, eh, we'll do some work. Look at the lawn. Nice and green. So, I was on the phone this morning with a Polaris dealership, and I said, basically, how the hell do you put a chain on this thing? And sure enough, I asked, uh, how do you release the tension on it or something like that. I figured what I asked. The chain, ten chain tensioner. And well, he laughed. He said your best bet is to watch a video on YouTube. And uh, that's exactly what I did. I thought there wasn't one. Just because, you know, just look at it. You wouldn't think there is one here. But instead, you have to loosen up these two bolts right here. Boom and boom. Five eighths and then a half inch here. You take a pipe wrench on this guy. And you basically just crack or open either forward or backwards, whatever way you need it. Go figure. And I got the chain on, as you can tell. But I bent the fucking clip here. Look at that. So I have to get a new clip, unfortunately, but that's not that big of a deal. I know where it's located, right here. Just won't move it, that's all. But pretty good. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Awesome. Anyway, let's head on back into the shop so we can start a little work on the push mower. Wow. Aha! Picked up this tire you get the other day there. I want to replace the rims and stuff on the uh, tires and rims on the new trailer. And uh, mainly being is, well, it's all cracking, dry rot. You know, in the tread here. So I was going to replace it. Hmm. Yeah, right. It's cheaper to go buy a new tire rim. That shit's fucking expensive. Fucking, they want, uh, like $130 for that tire. Because it's like a load range, stupid son of a bitch. Like the craziest load range you can get for it. <laughs> so, I guess I won't be, uh, doing that anytime soon. <laughs> Until I find a good deal at Craigslist or something, but... At least I got the frickin' chain all done. Almost all done. Almost all done is the key word. But, um, yeah, so just basic tune up today on this guy, and that's basically it on today's video. I might, uh, I might throw this engine on the, uh, stand over there, or on the chassis, try and fire it up, see if she'll run or not. Hopefully she will. Probably will. So, not too bad. But, um, I also ordered up the last of my parts, and, uh, man, fucking, they wanted, like, $16 of shipping or something ridiculous to ship, like, Three things that were just like paper thin. One was just like a cover, one was like an electrical piece, and the other one was like a, I forget the other piece, but it was something stupid and you want like $60. It's so like, fuck that. It's cheaper for me to buy all the stuff on eBay and pay the shipping. Like, people on eBay want like $2 for shipping. I saved myself like 30, $32, I think it was. I was like, fuck that, you know? And uh, Redneck Brian the other day, he commented on the video, uh, you shouldn't uh, shouldn't order parts on eBay sometimes, it you know, bites you in the back. Well, actually, most of the time is I'm waiting for the parts from the dealership. It's not on eBay. Uh, either, like, it's Jack Small Engine, or it's fucking Polaris dealership stuff, or it's Articat dealership. It's like, fuck that, you know? <laughs> Like, the dealerships take longer than eBay, because they all have to be special ordered. Most of the stuff's already on eBay. But camera's going to die here. Sold the sign last night. If you're a YouTuber, comment below on who, uh, who won it. I think it got 35 bucks. So that's pretty cool. It's going on the one fun Boston. So, I figured out what we're going to do with the other sign. i got to change out this battery before Kong out on me as I'm making a big, long speech here. Alright, well, today is Monday, and we're going to be doing a little bit of work with this little push mower. I don't even know if it runs or not. I ain't even going to attempt it. I'm just going to go for it. Frigate, do her up. 
That tune I'm about to do in this lawnmower is probably worth more than a lawnmower. <laughs> Find it kind of funny, don't you? But anyway, so yeah, today's Monday. I think I already said that. We already skipped over that. Whoops. Uh, I've been working for the past about a half hour, 45 minutes on the scrambler. I wasn't going to do any work on it, but I was like, eh, we'll do some work. Look at the lawn. Nice and green. So, I was on the phone this morning with a Polaris dealership, and I said, basically, how the hell do you put a chain on this thing? And sure enough, I asked, uh, how do you release the tension on it or something like that? I figured what I asked. The chain, ten chain tensioner. And well, he laughed. He said, your best bet is to watch a video on YouTube. And uh, that's exactly what I did. I thought there wasn't one, just because... You know, just look at it. You wouldn't think there is one here. But instead, you have to loosen up these two bolts right here. Boom and boom. Five eighths and then a half inch here. You take a pipe wrench on this guy. And you basically just crack or open either forward or backwards, whatever way you need it. Go figure. And I got the chain on, as you can tell. But I bent the fucking clip here. Look at that. So I have to get a new clip, unfortunately, but that's not that big of a deal. I know where it's located, right here. Just won't move it, that's all. But, pretty good. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Awesome. Anyway, let's head on back into the shop, so we can start a little work on the push mower. Wow. Aha! Picked up this tire you get the other day there. I want to replace the rims and stuff on the uh, tires and rims on the new trailer. And uh, mainly being is, well, it's all cracking dry rot. You know, in the tread here. So I was going to replace it. Hmm. Yeah, right. It's cheaper to go buy a new tire or rim. That shit's fucking expensive. Fucking, they want uh, like $130 for that tire. Because it's like a load range, stupid son of a bitch. Like the craziest load range you can get for it. <laughs> so, I guess I won't be uh, doing that anytime soon. <laughs> Until I find a good deal at Craigslist or something, but... At least I got the freaking chain all done. Almost all done. Almost all done is the key word. But, um... Yeah, so just basic tune up today on this guy, and that's basically it on today's video. I might, uh, I might throw this engine on the, uh, stand over there, or on the chassis, try and fire it up, see if she'll run or not, hopefully she will, probably will, so, not too bad, but, um, I also ordered up the last of my parts, and, uh, man, fucking, they wanted, like, $16 of shipping or something ridiculous, to ship, like, three things that were just, like, paper thin, one was just, like, a cover, one was like an electrical piece, and the other one was like a, I forget the other piece, but it was something stupid, and you want like $60. It's so like, fuck that. It's cheaper for me to buy all the stuff on eBay and pay the shipping. Like, people on eBay want like $2 for shipping. I saved myself like 30, $32, I think it was. I was like, fuck that, you know? And uh, Redneck Brian the other day, he commented on the video, uh, you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't order parts on eBay sometimes, it, you know, bites you in the back. Well, actually, most of the time is I'm waiting for the parts from the dealership. It's not on eBay. Uh, either, like, it's Jack Small Engine, or it's fucking Polaris dealership stuff, or it's Articat dealership. It's like, fuck that, you know? <laughs> like, the dealerships take longer than eBay, because they all have to be special ordered. Most of the stuff's already on eBay. But camera's going to die here. Sold the sign last night. If you're a YouTuber, comment below on who uh, who won it. I got 35 bucks. So that's pretty cool. It's going on the one fun Boston. So I figured out what we're going to do with the other sign. i got to change out this battery before it conks out on me as I'm making a big long speech here. Alright, battery's all changed out. So basically, we're going to be giving away the other sign. I finally figured out what we're going to do. You guys are going to guess in the comments below. Once I'm all done with the quad, getting her out on the trail, so you're going to guess how much I'm into it total. So I figured that would be a good little, uh, good little test. I haven't even really even added it up yet. I'm just guessing. So it's, it's somewhere in the ballpark of my area. <laughs> I'm hoping. 
if they saw it in like the 1600s, because that would just really suck and I'd be really pissed and I'd be like, fuck it, I'm selling it, you know? I could have bought a Yamaha fucking blaster for a thousand bucks. <laughs> then again, it is a piece of Yamaha shit, you know? But, um, yeah, so we're going to do that probably uh, once I get everything all sold away. So the other sign there. Not this one, because that one's already gone. Not this one, because it's all fucked up. But this one right here. Boom! Here's the next sign, boys. So, pay attention to some of the parts I, uh, I've been putting on to this. You might want to go back and watch a couple of videos. I might have already said some prices and stuff like that. So, but then again, I didn't tell you the, how much it cost me today to order parts. <laughs> so, anyway, that's in the future project. Or, not the future project, but the future video, I guess. Um... Also, I think I might have figured out how to use iMovie, so we're going to attempt it tonight. I'll give it a shot, see what happens. If not, then the video will go up tomorrow morning. So if, it's up, if the video is up tonight, then we had good luck with uh, iMovie. If not, then it'll be up tomorrow morning, and then we had some shit luck with the iMovie. So we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, enough talking. Let's get working. Ah oh, crap, what do we got going on here? Son of a bitch. Cleaning time. Cleaning up the shed. And as you can see, I finally got the uh, rototiller in here and the plate compactor. I've been dying to put this stuff in here for quite some time. I just had to remove some stuff. Friggin' uh, Mustang head there. Holy. Anyway, so I finally got the place cleaned up a little bit so I can. At least put my rototiller, my plate compactor in here, and I moved the hawn around for a little bit. I was going to take it out, try and get it right in, but I just ain't got the time today. I got to go out a little bit here. It's looking pretty good. I think it needs a layer on that tire, I noticed. It's not too, too bad. Whatever. I get the uh, wheel horse 500 sitting out there and a few other stuff I'm just moving around. Not too bad. And the back check with this little mouse home. Ain't that the most greatest little mousey home you ever seen? Ain't that something. Making scrap metal corner bigger. You can tell. Awesome. Alright, so I've been working out in the yard for the past like three hours or something ridiculous. Just weeding and stuff like that. I'm beat. It's like 86 out or something ridiculous like that, so. Damn, I think it's almost time to put that air conditioner in the window, hopefully. Hopefully we don't have any problems with this one. I finally get that other one, that piece of shit air conditioner. Remember that thing? I always used to swear at it last year. Yeah, I, I scrapped the sweary one, you know. So I got that one. And I gotta, I'm hoping it'll fit in this window. I'd like to put it in this window rather than that window because it's just so blocked off. I'm hoping it'll fit. Keyword is hoping. So I'll have to try that maybe this week. But, uh, yeah, so I just pulled this chassis in here. This is one we chopped up last week. And I'm going to actually uh, throw that engine on that chassis just so I can... Oh, sorry about that, I just burped. Uh, test it out, see if it'll fire up, see how she'll run. And hopefully then everything will check out pretty good. So, keyword, hoping. Crisscross fingers. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to hook up, obviously, if fuel tank to it, but... You know, the basic stuff. We'll give her a shot, see what happens. Alright, well I just pulled something pretty damn stupid. Uh, yeah, so I, motor, I mounted the motor on the chassis here. And uh, I've been working on this thing now. I said last time it was 5 o'clock. It's now 4.42. So for 42 minutes I'm working on this. And uh, I, I'm completely baffled until the point I just figured out what's, what's going on here. So... I'm trying to get the thing running, it's not running off of the fuel tank. I, I, I made up a little fuel tank here, and then I'm like, alright, well, I use a little starting fluid to try and get her going, nothing. And then I'm like, alright, well, I'll try a little carbon choke cleaner. Maybe it's a little bit stronger, nothing. And I'm like, alright, well, maybe the valves are off. I, I've adjusted the valves twice on each side, actually, three times on this side, and then twice on this side. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I, I just haven't figured it out yet. And, Sure enough, I just figured out why it's not getting, well, it's getting spark. I, I just couldn't figure out why she ain't firing up, basically. Well, I just happened to catch out of the corner of my eye. I have the throttle wide open, basically, right now. 
I need to get power to the solenoid. Oops. So I gotta, I don't know, I'll have to put this on a different chassis. Maybe I might be able to try and get this thing going. Need to get, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get this going actually at all. Uh, I might be able to actually. Yeah, I might be able to get her going. I'll give her a shot, see if I can't get her going with this wire harness, but I just can't believe the stupid fucking uh, solenoid. That's the reason why I ain't firing up that well, you know. It'll puff, 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 and it'll try and run, but it just won't run. Sure enough, it's the fucking solenoid. Oops. I guess I'm going to try and fix this wonderful missing mess. Awesome. Alright, I'm calling it quits on this thing. I got her somewhat running. Uh, it just it just wants to pop pop and then pop pop and then kind of so do a thing. I couldn't do the seat safety because where is it? the wires are cut when I usually pull the seats off of them. I usually just cut the lines, so it's like fuck. You know, I'm sure once uh, once it's on a tractor, it'll fire right up no problem. But I just want to double check everything before I sell it. You know, but. That's what's holding me up, so I guess I'll have to wait for another tractor chassis to come in to uh, truly test this. You know, it, it somewhat runs, somewhat fires up, it just pop, pops, pop, 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 you know. Yeah, okay, it'll run for a quick little one half second, and then it'll die out because there's no safety on it. You know, I get the factor of it's somewhat clicks on. You know, I'm sure you guys can hear that, but it's, it's the engine's getting killed because there's no... Nobody sitting in the seat is so not recognizing the seat safety, so that sucks. But anyway, that's what I got going on. Uh, I think we're on the video here. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to take a run to the scrap here just to get rid of that chassis and a few other chassis I got. I got a whole pile full. I should have, you know, maybe at least like 80 bucks worth of scrap metal. And um, that's basically it. So yeah, and then uh, later on in the week, I'll well, I don't even know if I'll do it later on the week. I gotta pick up two craftsmen, but I don't think I'll be picking them up this week. Maybe next week. I got a lot of stuff. I got the trailer I gotta work on tomorrow. I'm gonna run over the trailer. Maybe do a little bit of wiring on it. Uh, just get the wiring set. And what else? Maybe paint it. Maybe. Kind of. I don't know. A little rust oleum black. Oh, it depends how much time I get tomorrow. So. Whatever. But I don't know if there'll be a video tomorrow. If there is, I'll be surprised. If not, whatever. Maybe I'll do a video on the uh, scrambler doing the brakes. I got the brake pads in. I'm trying to think what to do with them right here. These are the uh, uh, son of a bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I fucking hate it when people do this. I just realized something. This is like the most stupidest thing people do on eBay. And it's a complete fucking scam if you ask me. I bought this set of brake pads on eBay. There better be two sets in here. Or I'm gonna be pissed. It happened once before too. Okay, good. There are two sets. Whew. Had me freaking the fuck right out. I was thinking that there was only like one of these in the entire case. So luckily there is two. So there is enough to do the front hole brakes. Looks like there's like only one there, doesn't it? That's why I got nervous. Because what happened once before is I bought brake pads for the, uh, bought brake pads for my, which one was it? I think it was a ZR700 just this winter. And, uh, in the description it said brake pads and usually with the S it's like more than one and I ended up getting screwed they only sent me uh, uh, one brake pad instead of brake pads you know so I had to order up another set that would happen in the winter that's why I got nervous there for a second I saw two and I'm thinking to myself oh son of a bitch they only sent me like one set for one rotor I'm thinking but luckily there is two there so uh, got lucky, so you might see a video on the plow scramble tomorrow, just doing the uh, the brake pads. So I'll have to wait and see. Anyway, enough talking. We'll talk to you guys all tomorrow, maybe, kind of. I don't know yet, and uh, see you then. Awesome.